My name is Karen Brown Larimore. We are currently in um, the costume shop at Overture. And we're getting ready for our first dress rehearsal of Uchiha. I started in 1997 with Elixir of Love. It was my first opera. Um, I have my master's degree in costume design. Um, but prior to that, I was a set designer, and I found I liked costumes much more. And um, I taught at the university for a few years, and then went out on tour as a dresser for 10 years, and came back and knew a lot of people here, because I'm also a union stagehand um, dresser, and sort of got sucked into the opera. My role with Madison Opera is, depends on the opera. I am either costume designer or costumer. On Lucia, I'm the costumer. A costumer takes some other designer's um, rental of the full show and makes it work on stage for Madison Opera. The costume designer designs their own original designs and um, has them built and or buys them and puts them on stage and makes a whole new complete show. I used to have people think, okay, you rent a package of costumes, they come in, you put them on the actors, put, pack them away, and you bring them to the theater and you put them on stage. And it's so much more than that. The fittings, the alterations, the changes, um, you know, even bringing it here, the organization that everything is, is labeled and ready for the actors and they know how to wear it and all the dressers know what to put on who at what time. There's a lot, there's more choreography behind the show you're watching than on stage. Well, I think a lot of the work happened over the weekend. Um, this is when I bring, I, ha I send over all the costumes in the truck. Um, they're going to come on racks, and then I sort them into who wears what, on what floor, um, in what order. They have accessories. If they're a principal, their accessories go into a bag. If they're a chorus member, it goes onto a table out in the hall. So it's a lot of sorting. Then my crew comes in and they finish any alterations that haven't been done. Um, when a rental comes in, you just don't open the box and put, it in, put it on the person and it's perfect. You might have to hem it up, you might have to lengthen the hem, you might have to take it in. Um, there's a lot of little sewing projects, um, let alone the adding of new pieces. Um, so when it gets here, some of it has been done before in the shop, the rest gets done here and then it's steaming of everything, um, getting it ready for a first dress rehearsal. Sometimes you just have to build from scratch and build something new, even though you've rented the whole show. There were things like added, there wasn't enough um, tartan plaids in the show, so we uh, found two tartan plaids that matched what was um, some of the original in the show and made a lot of vests to show which clan um, the people belonged to. We created our own bloody uh, Lucia outfit for the end of the show where she kills her husband and um, we tried to find some, try to have, make it look like blood splatter and then he tried to grab her as he fell to his death. And hopefully it will read on stage. If it doesn't, we'll be adding more blood after the show tonight. So basically um, when we decided what I wanted, I found a picture of what I wanted. Um, and then I had my um, assistant, Brenna, gave her the fabric, the trims, and she created it. I would say she made it probably in a day. Um, and then when we tried this on her, we tried it on without the robe, and the director said, we just need a little more. And there is a robe similar to it that she wears earlier in the show that came in with the rental, but we knew we couldn't get it bloody. So I said, I'll just make you another one. It probably took maybe two hours after I had the fabric to use this one as a pattern, make a new one, and then later on we bloodied it up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one of our um, little tricks of the trade. Even on the little bottle it says Chorus V. Uh, vodka is a, a perfect freshener. It's better than uh, Free Breeze or any of those products that have scents in it. You just spray it on a garment um, and it kills the germs and it dries really fast. So we usually spray everything um, after an actor wears it. Everything gets to spray down with vodka and then wash is chosen by the dressers. I will have um, seven dressers on the show, some for each floor. 
They'll decide if uh, a, a shirt needs to be washed, you know, maybe it gets makeup on it or just needs washing. Um, some wash is done every night, t-shirts, anything that touches the body directly, but other things like a shirt that goes over a t-shirt only as needed. Um, so they decide what comes in, it gets machine washed, hung to dry, everything else is vodka and teched and ready. And then when they come in the next day, we steam it all again and it's ready to go on stage.